Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix uh, Project Playtime not launching or crashing. So let's jump right into the video and make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. I really appreciate it and leave your results in the comment section. So the first method to fix this problem, we have to ensure that we have DirectX end user runtime web installer. If you already have this on your computer, then you don't have to download it. But if you don't have it, make sure you download DirectX. Now, the next method, you also have to install Visual Studio C++. Just click on this download link and install if you don't have it on your computer. And also, we have to ensure we have, if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, we also need to we need GeForce to experience. So after you install GeForce the experience, you have to click on drivers and here make sure you check for updates and if there is an available driver, make sure you install and download. Also click on the settings and here go scroll down and enable uh, if it's enabled in-game overlay. Make sure you disable because it's like interacting or it's not interacting, it's like interfering with the game and causing a lot of problems. So make sure you turn that feature off and also for MD users make sure you click on this driver supports. I'll leave the links in the description of this video. Also installed Intel for Intel. Don't want that. Now there's another way you can update. You can also update your Windows but if it's, there's a lot of updates listed here but also you can go to advanced option, optional updates and then here if driver updates, there is a lot of driver updates listed here waiting for you to download and install. Make sure you check all of them. Click on download and install. Now the next method to fix this problem. Also, if your computer is running out of memory, this can cause a lot of problems. So we can fix this if you go to adjust the appearance and go to advanced change. And here, make sure you make this calculation 1024 multiplied by 60 being the amount of RAM you have. If you have 60, write 60. If you have, uh, you know, if you have 8, write 8. If you have uh, the amount of memory you have, all right. If you have 128, just now the result of this multiplication calculation right here Just click on set okay and apply and okay also actually don't apply yet make sure you go to visuals and here if you have set to best appearance make sure you click select for best performance and then you can here in custom make sure here you enable show timeless instead of icons and also uh, smooth edges of screen font now apply and okay now the next method you also have to do is to go to command prompt and here we run the command prompt as a administrator and here make sure you enter the following commands first one wait for the verification to complete for the entire system scan to complete and then uh, just uh, enter the next command you have to enter this command now enter this command and then enter the other one control c control v and now what you have to do is also to go to system configuration go to boot and advanced options and enable number of processors and select the amount the highest amount of processors you have and now we also can go to can go to graphics settings and here in graphics settings make sure you click on change default graphics settings and here make sure both of these features are turned on okay and here in this list if you can't find a game because you have to look for it uh, click on browse go where the game is downloaded and add a game in this list then you click on the game you click on options and here select high performance and now, now you can also go to task manager and you click on the game when you open the game you want to play. You go to details and then you set, you right click on the game and you set priority to high. This means that the windows will prioritize the game over other applications so it will help you. And also close all the apps that are running in the background and you don't need. This is pretty important as well. 
and this is the tutorial I really hope you learned something and I hope now you don't have this problem anymore and you can enjoy the game please leave your results in the comment section I hope this worked for you and I hope you're gonna have a fantastic day uh, take care